Hey guys, my name is Bando, this is Brexit Bando, and if you've been online today, uh, enjoying the three-day weekend, for those of us who had it, um, you may have seen this image floating around. And this, allegedly, is a, an image from a 40k tournament that happened this weekend. And this image has had uh, fairly mixed feelings for a lot of people, for several reasons. The most obvious being that this is a tournament taking place and this terrain is pretty low effort. Now, it's not the worst. I have actually seen considerably worse. Oh, I've cut myself. How the hell have I managed to do that? That's clever. Uh, sorry, I'm bleeding everywhere. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I've seen worse. There was a, a grand tournament a couple of years back where literally it was just like hand-painted polystyrene lumps um, blocking line of sight, and that was about all you got. Now, the other issue with this is the is it, this is supposed to be a tournament, and we have two quite clearly unpainted armies. And I have a little bit of a problem with this myself. Um, but I'm going to preface it. If this is just some local games club who said, hey, we're going to do like an escalation tournament on the on the long weekend, I think in America it's Memorial Weekend. Um, pull one out for your homies. And, um, you know, if it's just some local club that said, hey, let's uh, let's just have an elimination weekend or whatever, an escalation league, that's not so egregious. You know, it, it's it's a you know, gaming club that's come together and just done this. However, if this is a tournament that someone has paid for, an organised event where you've got tournament organisers, there's, there's maybe prizes, and there is a ticket price, and this is the level of terrain that's been put out. I'm not a fan. Now, these are this this image here has been out quite a lot. A lot of people have seen this one. Not many other people have seen these ones. Now, this was um, these were actually made by Judge Lando uh, at Elemental Kid. Please don't go and harass this guy. Um, and it is made of from uh, these are kits made by a company called Glasshammer, uh, and you can find them. Here, it looks like it's about £69 uh, for a tournament set, and it's just a bunch of what I think is plastic, you know, clipped together terrain. And it looks like, yeah, this is for a, a, a tournament. I feel like there needs to be a certain standard when it comes to tournaments. Like, let's look at this, okay? Like, this is not a bad layout or an amount of terrain. Now, uh, I think... Oh, I'm... Yes, I'm playing Fallout 4 at the moment. Deal with it. Um, it looks like that's the amount of terrain you get in the tournament pack. So, 69.99... Yeah, three trees and a couple of decent-sized ruins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it doesn't say what it's actually made out of. But, um, yeah, so this guy, Lando, looks like he's the guy that's organised this and he's the guy that's put this all together and built it. That's fine. You know what? Props to the guy. You know, it takes a lot of effort to build and to organise, to corral a bunch of people for an event. A lot of people don't know. Um, I used to actually run an armour, armed assault, armour 2 uh, clan back in the day, uh, about 10 years ago, that had anywhere from 100 to 200 members in it. And we used to organise events twice a week every week and I ran that thing for like four or five years it takes
takes a lot of work to organize people. Even if you're only organizing 30 of them at, at a go. Getting people together, making sure they're on time, making sure they've got the right, you know, stuff they need. In our case, it was mods and, you know, maps downloaded and all that stuff. But here it's making sure they've got tournament packs, making sure they've got armies, making sure they know the rules, making sure they've got rule books, making sure they know when things start, when they finish, that sort of stuff. But then you've also got to organize things like making sure that the, the space you're using is rented out and is suitable. Is there food and drink? Are the toilets available? You know, my local games club once had a serious problem when they ran a tournament and the people who they rent the building from had locked the toilets and not left them the key. And that was not pleasant because <laughs> we had to run about 10, 15 minutes into town to go and use a public toilet. <laughs> but yeah, it only happened once, luckily. So... I think, personally, that if this is a paid tournament, if you are attending an event, as a tournament organiser, it is down to you to put in as much effort as possible. Tournaments are an, an organised game event. So I don't just mean like competitive tournaments. I'm also talking things like narrative games. That is the top end of the hobby. That is end game. if we're going to keep... The video game analogy going that is max level top of the tier you know like golden demon is is end game for the painting side of the hobby tournaments is the is the end game of the gaming side of things and you know back in the day we we used to we used to do um where is it you know we used to have train like this and I, this is this from second edition and, you know, yeah, the, 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 the terrain is the same sort of thing, you know. Here's some cover. Here's a piece of, like, rough terrain. Oh, here's some trees. Seriously, this is such a great image. There is... Oh, I love the second edition Blood Angels. They look so cool. But, yeah, this, this, is, this is very much just... This is what we grew up with. So this, to me, is, like, the goal... But this sort of stuff, there's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, it, it takes a lot of effort to put this stuff together. Now, the first image, this one, which you may have seen, I do have a slight problem with. I think we've got a bigger one around here somewhere as well. There we go. And that's unpainted models at a tournament. If you are playing at a tournament, you really should have a tabletop quality army now tabletop is not hard to do okay like let's take these i'm assuming these are dark angels right they're green they're probably dark angels so we spray paint them green we wash them brown we paint some bits black we paint some bits silver that's all you actually need to do base them with the basic material we have, you have stuff in pots that you can literally just slop onto the base and let it dry. That's it. We don't even need, like, anything. There's nothing else you need to do there. Three colours. Spray paint, main colour, a wash to add some definition, paint some bits black, paint the bits metallic. We're done. It clearly shows what the army's supposed to be, and... You know, it looks like a cohesive force. But this is just a bit lazy. But again, if this is just a friendly tournament game at, like, a club, where they're just, you know, it's just the games night sort of thing, or it's just a friendly tournament, then not so egregious. The same goes for the terrain. Now, if this guy, Lando, had bought... A can of grey spray paint, or that you can get that like uh, stone texture spray paint. You may have seen around. It's for like, it's for like painting cheap shit and trying to make it look expensive. Um, you can get it in like we used to be able to get it in Wilco's, but uh, Wilco's doesn't exist anymore. But yeah, you can get it in most like 
I don't know, like Bed Bath and Beyond style shops in America. Um, they just have it where, where you know white women craft shops and that sort of thing. Um, spray it with that. Dry brush it brown. Dry brush it grey. That's it. Literally, all we need to do here, folks. A little bit of colour and a little bit of effort would have made this look a hundred times better. Literally a single coat of grey, like automotive primer, like from Halfords, over this would have looked better. So, I'm going to... I don't want to go on about this anymore. It's been ten minutes, really. What can I ramble over, like, five pictures? This guy's put, you know... There's three tables there, so that's at least 180 quid's worth of terrain this guy's put together and possibly purchased himself. So, for a start, that's good. Good on you. So, you know, good on you for that. He's made an effort. It's not going to have been a quick job to put all this together. So, again, good on you for that. Don't stop here. Paint it all up. Have a painting jam one evening. That'd be great. Get your club together and say, "Hey, we're just gonna we're gonna paint up this uh, this terrain." Um, each person gets like one set of terrain, and you know, paint it in the style you want. Do them in different colours and you know styles, and do whatever sort of thing you want to do. Print it. Get a get a couple of H four sheets of paper and print out a load of. Um, you can find like propaganda posters. You can. I'm sure you can find 40k propaganda posters in an A4 sheet. Print it out, cut them out, soak them in PVA glue and stick them on. But don't stop. Make a little bit more of an effort. Alright, that's me. That's me done rambling for the moment, I suppose. I just wanted to address it. I don't know. I think just... I don't like... <laughs> I don't like lazy people, says so the most lazy person in the world. Um... I just think we can all do with making a bit more of an effort nowadays. And maybe not just attacking each other over it and just supporting each other over it. I don't know. Alright guys, my name is Bando, this is Brexit Bando. Thanks for listening to me ramble. If you got to the end, pop it down in the comments and say you've made it to the end. I always appreciate those who do. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, there's plenty of you. There's new guys coming into Discord every day. Come join us on Discord. Uh, the link should be in the description. If it's not, you can just ask and I will post it for you. And if you're in the UK, go spend your shackles over at Element Games and use my code JAM737 and that will get you double reward points and also kick a little bit back towards me. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Good luck with everything. Goodbye.